Hello guys, this is again Retro Photo House. Welcome to my channel dedicated to Russian and Soviet lenses maintenance and repair. And today I've got in my hands very nice lens. This is Tair 11 early version for SLR Zenith cameras. It is great lens, great telephoto lens, but sometimes it suffers from the one specific problem you may see it here so the aperture blades are fall have fallen out from their places and it doesn't work properly and you can not use this lens with such kind of problem this is because of old grease the remains of old grease on the aperture blades sometimes this happen and if you have any ever a chance to get this lens with such problem for a cheap price then with help of my video tuto tutorial you can repair it by your own so you may see here again the problem how it how it looks like there are simply the few blades not at their places so we will completely remove the blades we will clean them up and put and reassemble all together so first of all what we will need we will need the the set of little screwdrivers for example like this one we will need the cotton sticks we will need the pure alcohol pure alcohol and uh, I guess that's it and something like this to put the alcohol inside to clean the blades and I think you will will need also the microfiber cotton to, to sweep the blades to make it make them dry so let's start uh, first of all we need to remove two rings the focus ring and the aperture control rings focus lens on infinity and here you have the three screws rather big screws and we will remove them we will unscrew them Here we have, then we need to remove this ring, aperture control ring. So here what we have. Now we need to separate the focusing part from the optical block. You see here a large here the large black ring and there is a stop screw in here. You need to remove this stop stopping screw. And then you take with one hand here, another hand here, and by turning to the left, this is ordinary thread, you unscrew the focusing part or helicoid part from the lens block. Okay, this we don't need for a while, neither this. Now we have in our hands, here you have the spacer ring, you just don't need it here. Now we have our 
lens block. We need to remove now the optical elements from front optical block and rear optical block. Here it's very simple. You just unscrew it like this. You take on here with your hand and here with your right hand for example and you just screw it out. Sometimes you, you can you you should need apply a bit more force but generally it's not a problem so here we have our complete front lens block the same thing you you, you do with the rear block you take this use your hand and you just unscrew it As you may see, we have removed the optical blocks, optical glasses. Now we just have only this part with the aperture blades inside. And you just can hear, you can see here that there is a problem. One blade is completely out. And three another are also out from the holes but it's not like here so and um, I guess we will be obliged to remove all the blades to clean them and then reassemble it completely so here you can see the ah here we have the 20 blades it's famous this lens is famous for 20 blades it is forming ideal circle we need to remove this ring which keep keeps the all the blades on its place so for the, to, to do this there is a do, two holding screws which allows to move the aperture and also they serves to to keep this ring on its place so let's remove it one and two then once it's done you can remove this ring And here you have all your aperture blades. So there are basically there is two there are two possibilities. In fact, if the, there is only one or two, two blades which have come out, you may try to fix it not by um, removing all the blades from 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 this body because after it may take for a while just fine maybe one hour of fine job if you're not a female familiar with such kind of work to reassemble it properly so I will try to put the blades correctly without removing all from inside Let's see if I will I will achieve this. What do we have here? We see that the four blades are not at their places.
let's do if let's see if I can fix it so I will have I will take some really fine maybe hand like this and we'll try to move these pins which are not in their places we'll try to move them to let them fit the holes but you should keep the fingers here otherwise they will all fall down so So one is is done. Another one. Sometimes it could be tricky because, as I said, too many blades and uh, you, it may take uh, for a, a while to achieve this. So it remains us to to put correctly. Here we have. Here we have. This one also fitted, it remains two.
it's almost done yeah you see as you may see please check it every every pin is in its hole here so we have received we have achieved this without complete disassembling but this is in the case when only few pins uh, came out of the holes so I will not disassemble all completely because it may take a while to put them all in, in place so one is done you turn it and then what we will need to do is to put this ring properly so there is a big groove here when this silver part is uh, on the on the bottom uh, you need to put this ring in order the hole here should be completely to the right here let's put the ring up you just check if all the pins are at their places here yes it seems that it's the case and you just turn just a little bit to assure if it works I guess it works then I will put the I will put the little screwdrivers blocking pins here but to, to put the pin here you need to make like this because this ring will move the aperture blades all together all this piston together so here you have then you take the little pin you put it inside and you try to screw it in first is screw it in and the second here you, you may see I guess and second as well there is one pin came out from this place we will see how to how to handle it how to handle this problem now it prevents from from moving all here we have so now you see it's completely repaired everything is at their places every blade and it forms ideal circle and here all these little pins blades pins are in their appropriate holes and it's working so I would say we had just a bit of chance because only four four pins we came out from the from the holes it should be maybe I don't know seven or eight in this case we would 
we should be obliged to remove completely the blades and uh, clean them and put blade by blade on the on the places and uh, in this case it could take much more time in fact so uh, if you have one or two blades or up to four bla blades uh, fallen out from the holes you can try this method to repair the aperture otherwise mm, it will be difficult in fact but the principle is the principle is simple you just hold the the fingers on this part you keep the blades all the blades you fix the blades with the fingers and from this side you try with a little screwdriver or whatever else some over the hand to move the pins you move the pins trying to to fit the appropriate hole so that's the method I, I used to repair this and now what we just need it's a it's simple we just need to to put all the put the optical blocks for example here we will remove them some some dust we screw the optical block one with a bit of force then another you also apply force here then we need to put the ring the ring so how to put it properly on this ring there is a red dot and you need to put it in the way red dot should be aligned with another red dot here I think you may see and if you you may see here there is a place for the screw here so you just put the ring aligned and you screw it inside screw the you fix it with help of the screw screws two and three mm. no it's a bit too early in fact I made a mistake we need to fix this ring only after the helicoid part will be put otherwise you will not be able to fix it so here there is a place for fixing fixing screw for stop 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 screw so you don't forget the spacer ring you put put it then you just take uh, the focusing part and here you can make some kind of mark in order to see where is this place is situated where you, where you need to put to screw in the stopping screw you take like this and you you screw all two parts together then you apply applying force up here it's aligned then you put your stop screw inside
is on its place now you can put the ring as I told you with a so uh, this ring this ring should be uh, aperture should be completely opened it wide open and then you need to align these two rings with the red dots like this so I will unscrew one completely to see if the if the holes are aligned here yes it it is one two and three and then what we have to do is to put the focus control ring so it's this ring you turning to be two parts the the closest possible and this is infinity position and then you take your ring you find the red marking here and you find infinity sign and just you put them together to be to to this two markings correspond one with another and then you just the screw fix it with the with the screws So let's let's check if it works. Focus works perfectly. Aperture blades are working perfectly. Preset is working perfectly. So we have repaired with our two hands and the little tools this excellent lens. This is Retro Photo House, welcome to my eBay shop. If you want to purchase some tested and repaired and uh, um, lubricated Soviet photo equipment, I'm working for you, for your satisfaction. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.